In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you one of my favorite Google Chrome extensions, particularly good for presenters, for educators, teachers, but it would also be extremely useful for just about anyone that uses Google Chrome. And this extension is called Tab Cloud. So if you do a search in the Google Chrome Web Store for Tab Cloud, there it is. And if you're unfamiliar with the Google Chrome Web Store, or maybe you're unfamiliar with extensions, you should probably watch my other video on favorite Google Chrome extensions. Watch that first, and then you could come and watch this. But if you've used extensions before, you can just go to the Chrome Web Store, do a search for Tab Cloud. There it is. You can see it's got lots of reviews, highly rated, and then just click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, it's going to put it here. It looks like a cloud and you're ready to go. Now when I first got this, I had some trouble figuring out why is this useful? Why would I use this? And then I started to try it out and within a few days it became indispensable to me. I love Tab Cloud and I'm very reluctant to use the internet without it now because I rely on it so heavily. So what is it for? Well basically Tab Cloud is a way for you to save tabs. If you're like me, you end up with four or five different browser windows open as you're working. And each browser, this is the browser window, but notice I have two tabs right now, right? And so I end up with literally four or five browser windows, and then each one will have 10, 12, 15 tabs that are part of that browser window. And I know I have a problem. That's way too much distraction and uh, too much going on, too much multitasking. But with Tab Cloud, it solves that problem for you. So let's say I'm going to be teaching a class coming up, and we're going to be using a website called conjugemos.com. This is a Spanish conjugations website. I think it's more than just Spanish at this point. But we're going to be using conjugemos.com, and we're going to be using a Spanish dictionary, an online Spanish dictionary. All right, so we're going to be using that. And we're also going to be using a site called Duolingo which is an interesting website to help you learn a foreign language. Okay, so these three tabs are going to be important in the presentation or the class that I'm about to teach. So what I could do is I could get those open and ready to go, and then I could simply go here to the upper right and click on Tab Cloud, and it loads up for me two sections worth of Tab Clouds. Okay, the first is above this black line, and any tab clouds that are above that black line are ones that you currently have open. So that's what I have here. Notice that there's a little symbol for each of the websites or each of the tabs that I have open. So that one's for conjugemos.com, that's for the Spanish dictionary, and that is for Duolingo. So now I could click to name this tab cloud. So I could type in Spanish lesson for Friday. Okay, so that's the name of that tab cloud. Even though I've named it though, it's not really saved. To save it, I would have to click this save button here, save window. Notice to truly save this, I have to sign in to my tab cloud account. You do have to sign up for this if you want to really use it. So you just can do an automatic sign in using your Google account. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm approving this, I'm allowing it. So now, now that I've signed into Tab Cloud using my Google account, I can close that tab, and now look what it does. It gives me the ability to click the Save button and have it actually save below the black line. And so that's why this black line is important. What's below, that's saved to the cloud. And now I could go to any computer in the world, I could use Google Chrome, and make sure that this extension, Tab Cloud, is installed in Google Chrome. And then I could sign in to my Tab Cloud account, and my Tab Clouds would appear here. And then I could access them and bring them up on any computer that I'm working on simply by clicking this plus sign. And that opens a browser window and loads each of the tabs that I've saved in Tab Cloud. Now, in this case, I already had them open. Now let's say, in addition to preparing this lesson, maybe I'm also in a different browser window. Maybe I'm listening to Pandora, okay? So I'm listening to internet radio through Pandora. Or maybe I'm listening to a podcast on NPR, or I'm listening to talk radio over the internet, or whatever it might be. I could have some entertainment going while I'm working and preparing my lessons. And maybe this is on a second monitor. 
Now, if I do this a lot, if I multitask by working while I listen to something, I probably open these two or three tabs 10 times a week, 15 times a week. Why not save these using Tab Cloud? And I can name this Entertainment, save that. And now I can close these tabs that are open on my computer now because I don't really need them right now. I can confirm that, they close. But when I do want the entertainment tabs available again, I can just click Tab Cloud, find Entertainment, click the plus sign that's green, and it loads up all three tabs in a new browser window, and I'm ready to have some entertainment while I'm working. I just absolutely love this Tab Cloud service. It's great for shutting down stuff that you don't need anymore and saving stuff so that you can get back to them later. So I hope you enjoy using Tab Cloud and thanks for watching. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students and watch for a new video at least every Monday.